good morning good afternoon and good evening everyone to the channel IT simplified in today's session on Azure I'm here to show you how to configure start VM on demand feature within Azure virtual desktop for today's demonstration I'm going to use the host pool with the name IMC which is already provisioned and in this host pool I have two machines and they are in deallocated state so you might come across a scenario in which a user will have to come in and if the machines they are in deallocated state they just want to still use the services so this option give them the ability to start the VM on demand without having to give the admin access from the administrative point of view this can be applied both for pool kind of environment as well as dedicated resources so in case you have a one-to-one -one relationship with virtual machines or you have a shared kind of environment which is the case in my deployment to implement this it's a two-step process in the first step you need to create a custom role and after the custom role is configured you need to assign the role to WVD service uh, just heads up this WVD will be changed to Azure virtual desktop in the couple of days in the next couple of days so let's get started and uh, I'm already logged into my uh, Azure portal this is the name of my host pool with the name IMC and just to show you my machines are in deallocated state I have two machines IMC1 and IMC2 you can see it's in stop state so if I can go to implement the first step I'll use custom role option so by going into my subscription go to the access control and click on the add button and add custom role now for this demonstration I'm going to use the uh, JSON file I will leave the link in the description for you and let's go and click on draw I'm just going to copy this and uh, under select a file I'm just going to paste this this will automatically populate all the parameters that I need so custom role name is desktop virtualization start VM on connect you get the description so basically start WVD VM and uh, let's go to the next so as part of this implementation or this custom role two permissions are added so to start the VM action and you get the read access because you don't want to give any admin rights to the regular users on these machines and uh, next is the scope to to which you want to apply this you have this option of applying this to the whole subscription or to a specific resource group in my case I'm going to apply this to the whole subscription so the subscription was added successfully go to next this is the JSON file that will be implemented so you get the name of the role that we are specifying here the subscription ID the action that will be part of this deployment and you get the brief summary of the selections you have made and let's go and click on create so this custom role was added successfully so that's good so step number one is done now we're going to uh, give WVD service access to this custom role for that still staying over here I'm going to go to the role assignment and under select role I just need to search for the one that we just created so it was desktop virtualization okay I'm just going to refresh the page Okay, so here it is desktop virtualization start VM on connect so pick that and under select I'm going to use Windows virtual desktop that's the service I want to give access to right over here and this is what the name is going to be changed as per the Microsoft documentation because as you know that they have changed the name of the service from WVD to AVD but right now it's still uh, WVD so let's go and click on save it's adding the role assignment so that's perfect and uh, the only thing that is left now to do is to enable this service on the host pool level so for that I'm going to go to my Azure virtual desktop go to my host pool and under settings you can go to the properties and you see under configuration the start VM on connect is 
disabled right now. So I'm just going to switch the button to yes and click on save. And with this, we have successfully implemented start VM on demand feature within Azure Virtual Desktop. And now when the user is trying to access, it will uh, allow them to boot up the machine. But having said that, you still need to have the uh, script implemented in which the machine deallocates because yes, this gives them the option of booting up the machine, but uh, you are still charged until unless the machine is not deallocated. So this feature is definitely helpful in case they have to go uh, in a specific time when the machine is in deallocated state, but I will recommend that you should still have uh, uh, some sort of automation script running when it deallocates the machine at specific time so that you don't get charged doing all the uh, by 24 seven. So this was a quick overview of uh, how to implement start VM on demand within Azure Virtual Desktop. Thanks for watching, have a good day.